First off, I gotta talk with everybody. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Why did the spirit choose to help you? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. What about demons? I could sense the demons too, and their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. Creepy. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me, and was guarding me, for want of a better word. You're very lucky. There were times when I was in the Fade, that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. Also, your fight with Petra's demon. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance, and I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. I'm glad you're thinking traveling with me is worthy of your time. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare him for the task that is yet before him. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger wagging. Oh no, not the finger wagging. I'll hold you to that promise. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. For the most part, yeah, sure. Okay, who's this? This is Ogrinch. Don't care about Ogrinch. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, Liliana's in that room. I do need to talk to Liliana a little bit. See if she has anything different to say here. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Talk to you about something. What's on your mind? Never mind. Nothing new. Okay, carrying on. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Logan was collaborating with Tevinter Slate with a Tevinter Slaver. Wait. Oh dear. Yes, this would be where I I think I would talk to him about this. I haven't gone to the lands meet yet, so there's still some stuff I need to do. When I do, don't go. Okay. Trust me, 
Bring Mabari, you I won't regret it? Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh Uh, I might have to... You're not joking? Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, I approve Logan was involved in slave... Okay, a Logan was collaborating with a Deventer slaver. Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logan. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Aha! If one more servant asks if I... What comes, my friend? <laughs> okay. Oh, so, yeah, that is our main objective now is to head to the lands meet. Okay. Bring Mabari. I won't bring Reagan. Oh dear. Now you've got me. Now you got me torn. Now you got me torn, Talon. All right, I'm gonna make a hard save then. Okay. Make a hard save there. Indeed. All right. I'll bring the Mabari. I'll bring our. I'll bring my dog. Oh dear. I did. I did save. I did save. So. The lambs meet. We go. Oh dear. He's got a lot of leveling up to do. All right. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just I'm afraid that if I get into a fight with my with the Mabari, I'm may not get out unscathed. I'll see. Okay. I'll I'll trust your word on it. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now wouldn't you? You have torn this nation apart to oppose my lord, and never once tried to understand why he is a hero to Ferelden. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. Do you really not see what Loghain has become? Do you mean to talk me into betraying my lord? There are not such words in all language to make that happen, Warden. Now let us end this! Two arms, men. I failed it. Indeed. My persuasion is nuts. 
How did I fail that? I'm gonna try intimidating now. Like, my persuasion is literally maxed out. Uh, master of a coercion, able to sway just about anyone. And then cunning. Or is it cunning? I've cunning's 51. Okay, cunning determines how well a character learns and reasons. Most skills, such as herbalism and combat, ta and combat tactics, require a quick mind to master, and an observant eye can increase the effectiveness of rogue talents. Many skills can reach armor penetration, mental resistance, and persuasion. Yeah! My cunning is nuts! Yeah, I click persuade one. I'm gonna try the intimidate now. Hmm. Alright. See if this works out well. <sighs> Quick save. Now we'll go see. We'll check the Intimidate. See if that works. Warden. The nobles of Ferelden will... You say that with such... Such righteousness. Loghain used to have that ring in his voice. He has not sounded that way in many months now. It is not... So clear an enemy when it is your own people you fight. How can you support the man who killed your king? Kaelin was a fool. He grew up a spoiled child in his ancestor's palace. He never knew what it was to be hunted, to starve. Maybe the Grey Wardens killed him, or maybe my lord let him die of his own foolishness. Either way, it may have saved Ferelden. To support his war, he sold his own people into slavery. What was he supposed to do? You and Eamon were harassing him at every side, forcing him to empty the treasury to fight you. He never wanted a civil war. After Caelan died, everyone was supposed to rally, come together to fight the Darkspawn without crying to Orlay for aid. He never anticipated Neric's bastard would challenge the throne and force this war. How do you justify letting Arl Howe torture his subjects? You think war is simple, don't you, Warden? You only fight monsters. No one sheds a tear over the death of an ogre. Torture is an ugly business, but sometimes it's the only way to learn what your enemy intends. And it is much harder to tell who the enemy is when all of them look like you. Hmm, uh, stop playing your shimmer, but you can do that thing? I can end the threat you pose to Ferelden. Two arms, men! Yeah, I'm gonna try Persuade again. Maybe it's a RNG thing? That is not a- uh, that is not a quick load. That is an auto save. That is an auto load. A quick save. Boom. Oh no, and there goes my frames. Uh oh. Uh oh. Frames are gone. Uh oh. Um, what's going on? Where, where are my frames? Oh no. What's happening? I have never seen that. I have never seen my...
That was weird. I have never seen my bit rate so high before. Well, are we back? Are we back? There it went. Yeah, rip stream indeed. Ah. Uh, is everything okay now? Chat? Everything working good? Is everything working good? I'm gonna hope it is. It right. looks like the frames are okay. The nobles of Fer Do you mean- Now let us end this! Two arms, men. Huh. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, well, okay. No? Well, how you doing, Crystalia? Yes? I'm good? Okay. Go to the... I don't know why the quick save... I don't know why the quick load uh, loads up the autosave stuff. I'm gonna look that... going to delete these two auto saves real quick. Delete. Delete. Okay. Got a lot of buffering going on. Uh, I recently I had a lot of frames dropping. It was weird. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we... Kaelin was a fool. Maybe the Grey Wardens killed him, or maybe my lord let him die of his own foolishness. I am not... My lord... But whatever he did, it was own... What... He never anticipated... And it is much harder to tell who the... Yeah, I had a I had a lot of frame I had a weird frame drop happen not too long ago. It just went to zero. Uh zero uh bit bit rate. My bit rate went to zero and then it just shot up to like twelve thousand. It was it was weird. Let me look this up real quick. And skipping forward when it's low. Hmm.
Oh, I screwed something up in the past? Ah. Uh. And now, uh, Frozen? Oh, that I, that's because I'm alt-tabbed out of the game. One second. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm, I apologize, chat. I'm looking something up real quick. Okay. I am currently looking up a walkthrough, apparently, because apparently I might have something up in the past with uh, trying to persuade her. Okay, um... And uh, with anyone in a red clue, make sure you uh, make sure to get any trading or requests that are done before you finish. Oh. Oh. The persuasion might the persuasion might be bugged. It might be bugged. I'm looking here and it says that it's 
Ah, uh, that the persuasion option actually checks against my poison making. Huh. His own people were the ones imprisoned and tortured. So now you admit Logan may have killed him. Oh, okay, here we are. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then let me stop him. You know it's the only way. Can't hear it. Can't hear it again. Oh my goodness gracious! I muted it to listen to watch that little video, and I forgot to activate it again. Ah! I'm an idiot. All right, chat. Would you like me to redo all that? Would you like me to redo that? So you guys can listen to that, or is it okay to just, or do you want me to just continue onward? Because I'm starting to get un, get annoyed with myself for not unmuting after I mute the game. Would you guys like me to uh, just redo all that? Oh, we made it through, which is great. I'll just continue onward then. Just go on? Okay. Alright, time to make another hard save. Delighted. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path. Yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question 
is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? How much Ferelden blood does Orlesian gold buy these days? I'm not the one who betrayed Ferelden. Some of us are curious, Loghain, about precisely what happened at Ostagar. So, one of Kalen's killers would dare speak of betrayal. You led our king to his death with your grandiose tales of griffins flying into battle. You're the one who fled the battle and left him to die. Oh, please go on. The Landsmeet longs to hear a proper tactical analysis of Ostagar from an elf. You goaded him into making that charge. He believed the tales, Warden. He thought your handful of men would turn the tide for him. Strategy and consequences be hanged. What would you have me do? Kalen's was not the only life in my hands. Should I have sacrificed the entire army for his mistake? Do not imagine that you can shame me with Kalen's death. He was Marik's son. My king. No one regrets his loss more than I do. And you should atone by supporting Marik's remaining son. Indeed. Do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? What have I done? I've protected her from you. You took my daughter, our queen, by force, killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdale. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Kalen's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. Listen to Nora, Loghain is power mad. So... The Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! Western Hills is with you, Loghain. Maker, help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I'm with Loghain. Who else could defeat the Blight? Loghain, I'm with you. This bodes ill for us all. But nothing's been decided. The Landsmeet has spoken. Following these Grey Wardens has cost us our king. We must not allow it to cost us our country. I charge Eamon, Alistair, and this Warden with treason! Someone escort my daughter back to her room. Take the traitors outside to await execution. To arms! We will not be taken without a fight! Couldn't we 
all just get along? No? For Ferre I think we can do that better. Okay.